You may have heard that ABC canceled its most popular scripted show yesterday after a lead actor sent out a series of bizarre tweets, which she later blamed on sleeping pills. You've read about it. But there's at least one upside to the Roseanne story. The left is now on the record opposing racism. Attacking people on the basis of their race is immoral, they're telling us. And of course, they're absolutely right about that. Let's hope this conversation continues and progresses. Liberals may finally concede that discrimination based on skin color really is wrong, whether it's in hiring or promotions or government contracting or school admissions. If they admit that, that would be real progress. It's not happening yet, though. For now, American liberals are still living in that strange, irony-free world where it's possible to denounce racism even as you commit it. That's the same world Al Gore occupies when he flies private jets to global warming conferences. It's the place where attorneys general can yell at you about domestic violence even as they beat up their girlfriends. It's hypocrisy land. It's where liberals live. Last night, for example, MSNBC held a town hall meeting dedicated to fighting racism. Guess who they invited to lecture America on the topic? You guessed it, racists. The special was literally co-hosted by Al Sharpton. Remember him? He's the guy who ridiculed Jews in New York as, quote, diamond dealers. He's the one who denounced a Jewish store owner as a white interloper. That instigated a racial massacre in which 18, eight people were murdered. Also on stage last night was a guy called Tim Wise. Wise describes himself as a professional anti-racism activist, which ought to be a tip-off that he himself is a racist, which obviously he is. Here's Wise using MSNBC's platform to make ugly generalizations based on skin color. Watch this. White America has been raised to believe, A, the police are always the good guys, and frankly, that black lives matter less than white comfort. What you are saying is, my discomfort with you right now is worth more than the potential that your life yep. could be snuffed in 10 minutes. Wait, isn't that slander against an entire racial category? Oh, yes, it is. But let's say you want an even more nasty racial stereotyping. MSNBC is the channel for you. They've got it. Here's Tim Wise again. Keep in mind, this is what liberals are now claiming is the opposite of racism. The gentrifiers of today, their parents or their grandparents, ran away from the city to get away from black and brown folk. And now their children and their grandchildren are saying, oh, the suburbs, there's only so many olive gardens I can go to, so I need to go back to the city and get my life in the city. But when I do that, I need to have my hot yoga studio and my pottery studio and my stuff represented. And if you intrude on that, I will then call the police. Are you taking notes on this? Are you, are you getting this? They're telling you on MSNBC that because certain people have the same skin color, they all have the same dumb attitudes. They like the same crappy restaurants. They spend their free time pursuing the same frivolous hobbies. And by the way, they are all, every one of them, immoral. You can tell by the way they look. That's the official position of the American left, the same people currently accusing you of racism. Huh. Christopher Harris is executive director of Unhyphenated America, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Harris, what do you make of that, watching that? Uh, Tucker, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that uh, came to my mind, for example, what's happening in Venezuela. Uh, when Tim was talking about uh, people trying to uh, gentrify areas, well, if you look in Venezuela right now, there are people fleeing uh, a terrible geopolitical socioeconomic issue, and they're going to Trinidad. Right. You know, so they have an influx in Trinidad of Venezuelans. And Trinidad is trying to implement rules to kind of push some of them out. Now, most people don't know there's a lot of black people in Venezuela. Uh, they don't all look like Hugo Chavez. In fact, uh, South America got one of the largest percentages. Over 50 percent of the slaves who were taken from Africa were brought to South America, yes. places like Brazil and Venezuela and everything like that. And so here it is. You have people who are black who don't want other people who are black flooding into their country. So maybe it's more an economic issue. And I think, by the way, there are fair questions to raise about oh, radical definitely. demographic change, for sure. It, it, it upsets people, and I understand that. But to pretend that it's all about race and that one race is worse than another race, isn't that the definition of racism? Absolutely. Uh, Tim Wise is going to be able to pay his rent 
uh, this month because he's a, a racial pimp. That's what he is. I mean, that's what he does. Is he travels around the country going to colleges, telling young white men and young white women that you are a racist and that you're a benefit of uh, white privilege. And they go on and they tell their parents how terrible they are because a guy named Tim Wise came to my college and told me that I have white privilege. And essentially what Tim is doing is he's assuming a privilege that, quite frankly, I don't acknowledge that he has. You know, I have zero sense of inferiority. And that's one of those things that someone like Tim wants me to believe. In fact, uh, when I... But you I, think he wants you to have a sense of absolutely, inferiority? Absolutely. And, and President Bush talked about it. He, uh, he said it's the, uh, the soft bigotry of low expectations. Yes. And that's what's happening around the world. It's what's happening in America, that they're co constantly trying to tell young black men and young black women that you have no chance in America because of your pigmentation. But no one wants to talk about the fact that different demographics, all black people are not... African Americans. My wife is actually, uh, her parents are from Panama. Her parents came here legally with nothing. They were able to climb the socioeconomic ladder. Both of them attained their degrees. Uh, both their daughters attained their degrees. But yet there are people who are, you know, I guess someone would call me an African American. I don't answer to that term. I'm an American black person. Obviously, you can tell by my pigmentation I'm black. But uh, there's lots of people, even in my extended family, who have not attained uh, what some of my in-laws have attained, regardless of the color of their skin. But Tim Wise would have you to believe that simply because of the color of your skin, you can't be successful in America. And you know what? President Trump, God bless him, what he's doing with the economy right now, it's helping black people. Well, where do you think a country winds up where the official position is that the races are different, some are more moral than others, and basically they should hate each other. I mean, that is the message that a lot of our elites are foisting oh. on the rest of us. What does that do to the country? It tears it apart. Uh, quite frankly, they, they're agents of chaos is what they are, is that they're, they're, they make their money, like Mr. Wise, by helping to tear people apart. With unhyphenated America, when people ask me what is unhyphenated America, I say we are what we sound like. We're an organization that believes that America's best when it's unhyphenated, that if you, uh, if you believe and if you embrace, if you promote the principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, then you're an American. And if there's no need for any prefix or suffix, you're just an American. And that's what needs to be preached and, ta and taught on our college campuses instead of having the, the Tim Wises and, and the Al Sharptons. Liberals, when I was a kid, I'm 49, not that old. Liberals used to say what you're saying. They don't anymore. Thank you. That was really nice to hear from Thank you. Thank you, Tucker. I appreciate it.